again since we're in the flow you know it's it's all kind of it's all kind of okay but man why 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 do we have cars in cities like this there's no no need for cars Now this could be fun. Looks like we've got a big huge truck blocking our way. And this is, you know, where the tensions start to flare. We saw this last night. Again, if we didn't have all these other cars that had no business being down here, this truck wouldn't be stuck where he is. Nor would this one. Again, just enough already. Get the cars out of here. Nice cargo delivery vehicle. So it's almost 5 p.m. Give you a little bit better idea what this is really all about. Again, they, uh, motor vehicle drivers, including the motorcycle riders, just like that guy, will take pretty much any space that you allow them to. And, uh, yeah. There's just absolutely no consideration for your life. Because they want to get to where they want to get to, and they're too lazy to ride a bike. There you go. I said it. And if it's not laziness, if it's something else, so be it. But all the people that are in those cars that are on short trips that are inherently bikeable, and they have the ability to do so, they're part of the problem. I don't have much sympathy for them. The only thing I have sympathy for is the fact that they may not have choice. But they kind of do have choice now. This is built, needs to be bigger, and if more of them got out of their cars, the city, another cargo bike, the city could uh, build more of these. Another silly car parking job there. I'm going to move up just a little bit here. We've got a young tyke riding. I'll squeeze on by. He's doing a really great job given the uh, heavy traffic. Huge credit to him and his parents for getting him well trained to do that. Uh -huh. He's actually moving a gate so he can get into that neighborhood. He probably lives in that neighborhood. I think they put that gate up each day during school hours for the kids. So These guys are all at a standstill. So, just gonna kind of move on through. They're not going anywhere fast. And as you can tell, it's easy to move through. Just be patient, be courteous. Let pedestrians go on through when they're all queued up in a big throng like that. And then push your way around. No big deal. It's not even a push, it's just kind of a maneuver. 
<laughs> and this is a another one of the little areas here. Very nice. You could tell she had a bit of awareness that she was parking right near the cycle track. So she was careful to look around. That looks like a very narrow garage there. And here's the mom. around here ah there you go a big ass truck let's follow this forward When we last left you, we were following this Ford. <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. All right, here we go. We're rolling back to the hotel now. I'm gonna go get some early dinner because I have a premiere tonight. Zach Katz. Tell she wanted to ride where I was riding. Yep. Little family out for a ride. And you can tell we've got uh, an interesting design here where we have a protected, somewhat protected, small unidirectional track in one direction, and then I'm sort of sharing the the space sharing the, the road in this direction. There's virtually no cars here. You can see how much of a difference it is, you know, between just around a corner. Very relaxed sort of environment. kind of feeling my way around till I re recognize the road. This is pretty cool. Through the building. Very nice. And you can 
can see this is just a nice extension of their home here playing a little football no. up against the wall This way seems to be getting me closer. I seem to be rolling that direction. I really want to turn to the right. Head down. got turned around. And here's some more kids. And spraying off the uh, sidewalk area there. I notice the sidewalks and streets are frequently wet in the morning. Apparently they do that spraying off during the day too. It is a dirty city. Nice to get it cleaned up.
Okay, here we are, Lucien. So this is roughly the roundabout route that I took to get back to the hotel. Well, that's it. <laughs> that wraps up day two of the Paris Ride Along series of videos. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll be back with a reflections video from day one and day two uh, on the ground in Paris uh, to give you my reflections of how Paris is coming along, transforming its built environment into a more people-oriented place uh, for all ages and abilities. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel, uh, please click on that subscription button down below. And don't forget to ring the notifications bell. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.